Welcome to a brief demonstration of Mindaptive's upsampling technique. It's a way to recreate missing pixels when we zoom into an image, whether it's a low-res phone, old movie footage, high-res satellite, or just when you don't have enough bandwidth to get enough data or you like to get more for what you have. The classic uh, Lensois technique or Gaussian filter, um, examples where we sort of blur and smooth the image are represented in the lower left. Uh, standard game by linear upsampling is in the lower right and the raw pixels are in the upper left. I'm going to flip through a couple different images um, just so you can see where you know circles are preserved crisply, letters are outlined. This is a odd hand drawing to really illustrate some of these approaches as we zoom in heavily you'll see how some of these um, curves and corners maintain their shape based on this pattern approach, which is not necessarily a filter, but a technique to approximate to guess what the original shape might have been. So as I go through a bunch of logos here, um, you can see that edges are staying crisp. Uh, and s let me slide over a little. Uh, you know, shapes maintain a, a, a certain degree of curvature. Even these edges that we zoom in a little more for this uh, AMD logo, you can see no matter how much we go in, we are keeping a nice smooth edge. Um, and while the classic approaches do a good job at blurring it out and maintaining some view, you lose a certain level of sharpness. Let me um, slide over and pick some of these older uh, images from um, some classic video game type of looks. And you'll see that in many of these cases, you can really make out what the original shape was intended to be, even though we've zoomed in heavily. Um, items such as, uh, you know, let's say this harp we have here, you can see straight lines. Even going back as far as uh, very old low-res data, this is, um, uh, I think, Miss Pac-Man even, uh, who is now upside down. Let me fix that. Um, you can still see some, some curvature to it that you would otherwise be missing without this type of approach. It may not be ideal in all cases, but even here, you know, you can see a round dot for her eye and a bit of smoothness. And this is a uh, 16 by 16 image originally. So if we um, come back out and, and check out some of the original images we were sampling, you'll get a much better sense of the types of things that can be done with um, zooming in on a an image no matter how high res it was originally and still being able to preserve a certain degree of detail. Um, I'm going to show a couple other filters just to give you a sense of how this plays out um, using some of those original uh, images. I'm going to use this test example here because it gives us the most set. Now in the lower left we have a anti-alias filter that we often see in games. This is like FXAA. Um, or MLAA, if that means anything to anyone. Um, and here's the raw pixels versus our example, sort of looking closer at the, the blur type approaches. Um, and hopefully, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to check with us, but hopefully you'll get a better sense of there's a lot more to be done with the upsampling potential of images in this day and age than we've seen so far. Um, and this is really just the beginning for us as we are trying to reconstruct some of these more uh, uh, zoom in, do more with the information type kernels that we have. Uh, thanks for watching.